Alright guys, welcome back. I'm a little annoyed my PS4 failed to um, record again. But it's actually a good case in this particular case because I didn't realize this this quest I'm on with Phidias actually ties in with another quest on Lemnos Island or will end up tying in with it. So I'm going to hold this quest off for a little bit later. I'll show you all what's been going on. I went ahead and changed my look. So I'm rocking the golden the golden black assassin look right now but I'm actually kind of digging it you know it's it's growing on me let's go and do some of these other quests I've actually already done them but it's all right which one is this one again oh yeah throw in the bet just Trying to help a champion win, that's all. Here's the Olympic tree. Barnabas will actually take us here <laughs> in a little bit. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of rugby for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You would attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Pitekos. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. What if I recited a poem? One of Pindaros's. You know, to inspire him to greatness. Look, um, Pitekos is good, but uh, he's not really that kind of athlete. <laughs> All right, let's hear your plan then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pitekos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Throwing the bet. To the course, Aleti sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My luck is javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously cheating. When you say lucky, you mean special. As in made to give you an advantage. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. So I believe there's two javelins. There's one over there. It's a really shitty one. And one over here. It's a really high quality one. I believe if you give him that one, he'll actually lose. I think it's, official, it's just called like a worn javelin or whatever. We'll give him the good one. And make our money back in the process. You sell javelins? Of course! Lucky you, I still have some left. With the games on, they sell out fast. But are they any good? The best! Fly fast and true, rest assured. But they'll cost you. I'll take one. Thank you! And may it fly far! Okay. We'll just go and give him this one. Yeah. 
You can still pick it up if you want, but I believe the game automatically will automatically prioritize this one over this one right here. So right here, I'll just go ahead and show y'all. This looks like it'll work. Warren Javelin, see. So don't give him that one. You are given an opportunity to place a bet and make a bunch of money as well. I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here, take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing. Right? Easy to handle. And most importantly, look just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nike, my friend. I should find the lettuce. Javelin. I'll place a bet. Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy then? You can never have enough to rack me. This will be an easy bounty. Oh, that's a lot of rack me. The event's tomorrow. Make sure you're on time. You, we will not be on time because <laughs> the game forces us to come after the event. <laughs> You, you missed everything. Look at this. What a magnificent throw. I'm glad I could help. Now a lettuce for my winnings. Of course, it was a good day. We all profit. May your good fortune continue. There you go. <laughs> it's Olympian breastplate. Let's take a look at that actually. of participating in the Olympic Games does the greatest honor to Zeus. Huh. Maybe, these, maybe this one is set. Uh, whatever. Alrighty. Let's talk to Barnabas. And I know I said I, I was going to wait to the end of the game to do uh, the Lost Tales of Greece, but they're right here. I might as well do them. So I'm going to go ahead and just do them now instead of waiting for them. the whole time we're here? By the gods, yes! I'll try and win quickly then. Come now, you must be feeling something. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. Who wouldn't be impressed? It is a place of immortal glory. You can be sure Ira and Zeus will be watching your performance closely. Oh, no pressure then. Uh, forget that for the moment, and let's enjoy the sights and see what Olympia has to offer. Isn't this magnificent? It's certainly impressive. Though I am sad we'll be missing the chariot races. Oh, what I would have given to see that. We should take in the sights and praise the gods to be here at such a time. Which sights should we see? There are so many. Let me think. The Temple of Zeus, the Altar of Zeus, and, of course, the Olympic Tree. I'd like to see the Olympic tree. Yeah, this is the quest. It's literally you just following him, so... Following you around, seeing places. It does show that some of the differences between uh, Barnabas and Alexios, though. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he is dead. What the hell? How did he die? <laughs> Oh, 
το ότι οι ευλογήσει σε και την πόλη σου άφασαν. You brought me to see a tree? Not just any tree. This is the sacred tree from which the winner's cotinos are made. I'd rather have drag me than a wreath. A cotinos is no ordinary wreath. The olive branches are harvested by children and taken to the temple of Ira. There, the Helenodike, or judges, make the wreaths. I guess they'll be lighter to carry back to Sparta than gold. At least you see the practicality, if not the wonder of the Olympic wreaths. We're in Olympia. It's only fitting we visit the Temple of Zeus. steps uh. One of the wonders of the world, and sculpted by your friend, Phidias. I'd hardly say friend. Even acquaintance might be pushing it. Can't you just feel the presence of Zeus and Ira when you stand here? I thought it was the wind. Don't mock the gods! I'm sorry. I don't want my feelings to cast a shadow on your day. Don't think yourself as tortured by the gods. ...but as molded for greatness by their hands. I am molded by no one's hands. If the gods know me, they watch in silence. <sighs> Come, let's leave this place. Fortunately for you, I have enough faith for the both of us. We should make an offering to Zeus, for good luck in the games. He's definitely seeing the, the contrast between Alexios and Barnabas. Barnabas being extremely faithful and Alexio being almost faithless. You see throughout the game, but... What the hell is he doing here? Well, whatever. I could kill him, but the bounty will be enormous if I do, so... see such an offering to the gods in Olympia itself. I've never seen anything like this. And this is nothing. On the final day, the Magiros will slaughter a hundred bulls for the Hecatomb to honor Zeus. I could eat. But that's not for people like us. What's wrong with people like us? My friend here would like to savor your offering. I have drachmi. Who won't say no to some extra drachmi? Mmm, delicious. Thank you, my friend. Gladly. I know how much this all means to you. Well, then, I think we have spent enough time here. Agreed. Let's go.
Barnabas? Yes? Thank you for this. I hope I wasn't too much of a distraction. No, it was made better by your company. A flock of harpies couldn't dampen my spirits! We are at the Olympics! You're competing, and I believe you'll win! <laughs> Okay. Uh, that quest is done. Let's see. Okay. I still got the Amarinthian boar. I'll get to that later, though. Let's get the Lost Tales going. I need to stay hidden. Hostile area. Let's not go in there. Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis? Are you acting in another play? Ali... Alo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti. And my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. <laughs> he understands his audience, so that's for sure. Wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. 
Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Sure. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares, but the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. Of course it is. I'll take care of everything. Okay, I guess I get the good stuff. I believe this is Demerge for it. Yep. That'll be difficult. Polos, let's go. Come on. Oh, boy. get to it. Yeah, take that damn brazier out. The good wine should be in that fort, if the officers haven't drunk it all already. That must be the good wine Thespis mentioned. Oh, 
but it smells awful. I should try it. Ugh, this tastes like horse peas. I can't serve this. There must be something better nearby. Wine Society invitation, that's interesting. The fire qualities of wine should join us in the underground storage for a taste of it. Don't tell the officers. Ha ha, alright. Now we gotta leave the fort. As far as you didn't see the body. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Okay. You stand no chance. This wine must be good. I should get back to Thespis. Tell me about with a ton of work. Oh, I've got to carry it out. Stupid. And I won't be able to set it on a horse either. Wonder if they'd notice the body they have, yeah. At least I can still run like a normal, normal person.
that it? Got to be careful not to get spotted. I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's excellent. I'll try selling tickets in the better part of town. Our wealthy patrons won't be disappointed. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Ennikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dysponsian ruins were inspiring him. Ah, <sighs> brother. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. Right here. Oh, son of a bitch. Here, let me see if one's closer. Oh, 
Well, I gotta go here anyway. Yeah. Hello. I don't really know how he saw me, but okay. Thank the gods. Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. Where's it going? I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakas keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am, but the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wronged her, so she poisoned a shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the people of Elise be poisoned. I'll destroy the supplies. Yeah, I say people can fight against the woman. Poison will be harder though.
Damn, was, there was a lot of them. supplies. I destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother will betray him, given the chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, your majesty. Okay. Shit. go. I got my adrenaline back. learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with, what's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just oh give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Oh boy. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? 
Wonderful! You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. Here we go. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. Cave must be around here somewhere. No, no. Ah, that must be the cave with the treasure inside. Try and get this over as quickly as possible. We've already been here. I'm not particularly excited about going here again. Grab that one. It sucks. Oh, it's right there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now, will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidony. Hidony, go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. God, what a nuisance. Come on now. <laughs> Are you Tross? I'm looking for an actor named Tross. What? I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again. You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. <laughs> Are you Tross, the actor? Um, I. Uh, no. No, I'm not him. Good. 
Otherwise, Fespis is terrible at choosing actors. Hello. Are you Tross, the actor? You must be new. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be Hidoni, to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Everybody's. Medea was robbed, you know. I'm going to speak with some more hedonists. That's a good name. <laughs> Hello. I'm looking for the actor, Tross. Is that you? Oh, an actor. I'd love to be an actor. But my friends told me I need to practice my stage presence first. That's wise advice. Good luck with that. Hello. I'm looking for Tross, the actor. Well, none of us use our old names here, but acting, I know about that. Make the audience laugh when they want to laugh, and cry when they want to cry. And how would you make an audience laugh? Uh, well, I'd probably slip and fall on a piece of goat's blood. Works every time. I see. And to make them cry? I tell them about how much I miss my poor dead goat. And if that didn't work, I cut an onion at the same time. Old theater trick, you know. Thanks for your time. I'll speak with the rest of the hedonists. We should use that name. Might get more people joining with a snappy name like that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the episode off here. It's getting a little long. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.